What's going on guys, it's you here bringing you another review on The Bad Batch. This series honestly is getting better each week. Last week felt like a slow episode, but this one may be a filler to some, but I honestly really enjoyed this episode. It gave us a contrast of what's going on in two different places at the same time, and the title for this episode was very appropriate, calling it Replacements. And we see a lot happening with both ends. But before I continue, guys, please do hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. It would truly mean a lot to me if you guys would try to grow this community. And honestly, it's very motivational to see the numbers increase. But at the same time, seeing people interacting. So if you do enjoy the content, please do hit the subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. But moving on. In this episode, the title is The Replacement or Replacements because of two things. Of what happens on Crosshair's end and the Empire, and we see what's going on with the Batch. Where we actually see them running low on things. Things are starting to become scarce, or things are starting to become very difficult. In fact, we have them crashing. Rations of food are kind of starting to be scarce. And they land on this planet and luckily nothing does happen other than the fact that you know a bit of a bumpy ride but unfortunately we have poor Wrecker bumping his head and this pain is in the area where his chip is uh, and one of the things that we actually see that was kind of interesting here was that we actually have tech working on one of the i guess a device which would allow him to kind of in i guess you could say investigate or get a better understanding of the inhibitor chip i do wonder if with wrecker hurting his head would this mean that maybe we're going to be having him have difficulties the way crosshair did and speaking of crosshair we actually have him being mentioned by the group and Omega actually saying that it's not really Crosshair's fault for the way he was behaving. It was due to the fact of the inhibitor chip and we actually have his weapons being mentioned but we also see Crosshair having some difficulties I guess you can say being accepted by regular troops and this is what we're going to start seeing more and more of. We see that he actually gets a, a squad of his own. He becomes the commander. So he's now commander Crosshair. He's very loyal to the Empire. In fact, we actually have them being sent by Tarkin once again to Onderon to deal with Saw Gerrera's group. And they actually go there. And I will say, they actually go with the mission. Let's put it that way and one of the things that before they arrive really caught my attention was the fact of this unnamed guy who actually mentions a, a line similar to the one crosshair had mentioned back in the very beginning of season seven where we actually hear him say you know if y'all if the clones are so good why are we being you know drafted basically or being brought in to help you and that was something that i think crosshair even thought about like he started thinking about those words but we'll get back to him in a minute meanwhile on this planet we actually have tech and echo trying to fix the situation and uh, we have this piece that they're lucky lucky enough to find and have to replace the ship which would allow them to fly properly but the thing gets stolen by this moon dragon who craves on power actual power not necessarily anything other than that but we see that we see that omega actually has to be the one to help out hunter with this retrieval of this item and unfortunately we see hunter get taken out rather quickly we see omega acting quickly and her kind of having to adjust to the situation she actually saves hunter's life and we have her going into this I guess you could say tracking down the dragon and we have her finding him and then having them uh, having her kind of have this encounter with the dragon 
Now, luckily, she is able to get it back uh, in exchange of the light because that's what it wanted. It wanted energy. It wanted light. It wanted that. And Hunter surprised that, you know, she was able to do this. He kind of gets back up, doesn't have to kill the dragon, and the ship does get fixed, luckily. So, I mean, honestly, really cool that they're able to work together. And we actually have Wrecker saving, I mean, not, uh, being, I guess, busy throughout this time and making a room for, for Omega, which was really sweet of him. And on the other side of things, we have what's going on with uh, crosshair they fulfill the mission the other trooper did not follow through orders and he actually kills the soldier and the rest of the group are dealt with and we have tarkin actually very very surprised that they are able to see the the results of having clones and uh, regular people working together but we also have the Kaminoans starting to be very wary about what's going to be happening. Now the Django Fed has been dead for years, they're worried that the clones are starting to look bad. So I'm wondering, what are they going to try to do as well? They want to make sure that they still have a good standing point with the Empire. And Crosshair, I just feel bad for him because he is in the barracks and he's by himself. And honestly, it's just a sad situation. But a very good episode. I really enjoyed it. I hope you guys have. Stay safe. And I'll catch you.